At seven years old, I was matched with my big brother Jim through the Big Brothers Big Sisters program. And that cascaded to a series of other opportunities that have molded and shaped who I am today and absolutely opened doors that otherwise would have remained shut for me. I recently graduated from the University of Minnesota and before that high school. And at every one of those transitions, my mentor Jim was there to support me and give me guidance. Most profoundly, it has affected me in the sense that it has opened my eyes to how blessed I am and has instilled in me a desire to want to give back and be proud of the community that I'm a part of. We started Twin Cities One to One, which is now the Minnesota Mentoring Partnership 20 years later. When we look back at it, it has been incredibly successful. We didn't know where it was going to go and we didn't know whether we'd ever raise dollar one. But it was pretty instantaneous when you think about it. I mean, we literally walked out of Dayton Hudson and 3M with the checks to start the whole thing that day because there was a need for it and the CEOs understood it. And we initially um, recruited both mayors of Minneapolis and St. Paul, both chiefs of police. Um, we had a very strong board and we kicked it off in the right way. I can't thank Bob enough for believing and supporting me as a person and as a leader, but also his unending support and belief in the work that we do every day. We're using mentoring to help young people achieve in school. We want young people to have opportunities to develop life skills and 21st century work skills. We also want young people to have opportunities to go on to post-secondary education. And mentoring plays a very specific and strategic role in that area and arena that it didn't necessarily as specifically back in 1994 when we first started. I've always believed in the, uh, the impact that mentoring has on children. I always remember the, the comment from the Search Institute that the single most important indicator of whether a child is going to succeed in life is the number of mentors or positive role models that they have in their life. MPM advocates, educates, and sets quality standards for mentoring programs across the state of Minnesota. We're part of the fabric of this community, part of the backbone. We want to be part of the best practices piece. When people call me and say, hey, I want to start up a mentoring program, well, the first thing I say is you need to call the mentoring partnership. You got to get lined up over there with your best practices, with your, how you do your trainings, how you support your youth, how you're going to support your mentors. That's where you start. Recognized as national leaders, over the past 20 years, MPM has recruited over 44,000 mentors, provided training to over 5,000 mentors and 300 mentoring organizations who today support more than 190,000 young people. The Mentoring Partnership of Minnesota launched the Quality Mentoring Assessment Path, or QMAP, in the late 2010 after several years of work with program providers from across the state to take a look at best practices in our field and translate them into a process that would give programs an opportunity to really assess where they were against best practices but also against the context of their program, their community, and the goals that they have for the young people in their program. One of the things that has emerged from the QMAP process is we find that it levels the playing field. And it doesn't matter how many staff you have, how many kids you have, how much money you have, if you're dedicated to quality, that shows through if you go through the QMAP process. MPM is proud to be recognized as a national leader in the mentoring movement. I want to congratulate the Mentoring Partnership of Minnesota, the board, the staff, their investors, all of the volunteers on an amazing 20 years of truly leading the mentoring movement and trying to fuel the quality and quantity of mentoring relationships, not only in Minnesota, but as a model for the whole country of what happens when we surround our young people, deliver them the kind of transformative relationships that allow them to be successful at school, in community, ultimately in our workforce and in their own families. Congratulations to you all and happy anniversary. When I think about the kids from the past, it warms my heart because I know that if it weren't for Boulder Options that these young people wouldn't have somebody involved in their life. And I think there's this huge generation of kids who get it, who understand that this is, they received the benefit of mentoring and now they're gonna turn around and give it back. The opportunity to pay it forward is really an opportunity to exercise selflessness. Selflessness in the fact that you are doing something for your fellow man or your community without any anticipation or without the requirement of having anything come back to you. Celebrating 20 years of positively impacting the lives of youth in Minnesota. Help us continue to grow the mentoring movement 
for the next 20 years. Donate today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, you could do lots of other things, but I don't think there's anything that's more important than what we're doing uh, to try to help kids.